everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm a self-taught software engineer with a background in mechanical and aerospace engineering and I currently work and live in London. Today is a very normal Tuesday and I'm working from home. I've been extremely busy with work since last week. I'm currently running some scripts to fix something in production and these scripts, they have to be executed with supervision and then they take a lot of time to run. So I'm actually doing it from home because it would be very difficult for me to get out of the office without interrupting these scripts. Otherwise, on Tuesdays, I usually go into the office because we have Pilates at the office on Tuesdays for free, which I really enjoy doing. But also, let's address the elephant in the room. I changed my hair. I darkened my hair a little bit. I have naturally dark blonde slash light brown hair. So I was trying to go back to my natural hair color. And as you know, I had quite blonde hair before. As you can see, it is currently a light brown. I dyed it uh, a brown. Over time the hair color naturally washes out a bit and it will get lighter again, but this is what it looks like right now. I did get a few reddish tones which over time will also disappear, so let's see how it evolves. Today for work I need to do some tasks for which I need input from a team that's based in the US, so I'm actually gonna work later hours today, so I thought for the morning, I could declutter my tech box with you guys. I want to introduce you to my box of chaos. This is the box where I keep all of my electronics. You would think that since I'm a tech YouTuber, like a tech influencer, that I would have my tech situation together, but I don't. This is where I keep all of my electronics and it's a huge mess. And I also have important papers in here. You know those papers that you never really need? until the day where you actually need them and then you don't really know where they are. I do know where they are. They are in here. But that doesn't make them any easier to locate, if you know what I mean. We are starting off strong with a box of napkins. This is not really technology. It kind of landed in here because I needed the space in the kitchen. I guess I should find another place for this. I have a Logitech keyboard. This keyboard is actually really great. However, I am a mechanical keyboard girl and I just prefer mechanical keyboards over flat keys, but it is a really good keyboard nonetheless. This is the box of my current mechanical keyboard. Is there anything in here that you need? Keeping the box of your electronics is such a millennial thing to do, like that meme of keeping the iPhone box, so I'm gonna throw this away. My old Royal Clutch keyboard, I'm definitely keeping this because I love this keyboard. This is a wrist rest from the Logitech keyboard. I'm gonna keep it with the keyboard. This is where I keep all my documents, but I'm gonna leave this for another day because I only have a certain amount of patience. This part of the video was sponsored by ESR, so big thank you to them. ESR is a brand that produces all kinds of accessories for iPhone and iPad and other types of electronic devices. One lesson that I learned the hard way is that after working in tech for a few years, you accumulate a lot of electronics, and one thing you need to do is to be able to keep them safe and to maintain them. And for that, I think that ESR is a wonderful brand in general, as they offer all kinds of devices that we can use to keep our equipment safe and functional. They sent me a really cool iPad case and also an iPad screen protector. I have an iPad 9, it used to belong to my boyfriend, but now I use it. And one of the most important things that you need to have is a case. This case is actually also ESR. My boyfriend bought it a few years ago for his own iPad on Amazon. And this is one of their new cases for the iPads Pro. It is pretty lightweight, I would say, and it has this magnetic attachment which you can use to set up your iPad in pretty much any way you like. If you use an iPad or you work with one, you know how challenging it can be if you don't have a proper case to hold it up. And I think that this is really a productivity game changer. Another one of their range of products, which I think is really well made and special, is the screen protectors. In particular, the Paper Fuel series. They have a magnetic attachment, meaning that you can put them on the iPads and remove them at any time. This is also something that you can put on top of your existing tempered glass screen protectors, so you don't need to remove it in order to work with this one. If you're the type of person who likes to write or to draw on your iPad, then you will love this because it really feels like you're drawing or writing on paper. It also has an anti-glare feature, which means that you can work with it very comfortably, even in bright sunlight, which I think is pretty cool. If, however, you want to focus on keeping your iPad safe, there is another series which might be better suited for you. ESR has the Armorite screen protectors, which are all about keeping your iPad safe. They are made from ultra-tough tempered glass, so they can withstand scratches and falls without any issues. 
overall, I think that ESR is a brand that just does it right and they really pay attention to the small details. I have used their products long before they have sponsored my channel. So yeah, it's definitely a very honest recommendation on my side. And I can't wait to use this once I one day upgrade my iPad. So if you want to check out any of these products to make your iPad usage more productive, there will be a link in my description where you can check everything out. Again, thank you so much to ESR for sponsoring a portion of this video, and now back to the vlog. I have an old book here. I think I'm gonna donate this. Apple mouse. This is really old. In fact, I think I got this from the office, so maybe I should return it. Another book. Why is this in my electronics box? I would love to know. This is my first ever mouse that I bought. I have a card that my friends gave me when I joined the Buddha house when I moved to London and the girls that lived at the flat share where I moved into, they gave me this welcome card when I joined, which was really sweet. A mouse. I hate myself sometimes. A notebook. Some writing paper. These are some random tech accessories and cables. I also have some electronic stuff in this basket, so let's have a look. I have my old broken phone. A phone glass protection. This was a gift I got on International Women's Day. It's a flower which I need to plant into one of my pots. I just haven't gotten around to it because I'm lazy. No, I'm not lazy. That's not a nice thing to say and it's also not true. Oh my god, there's a guy looking at me. Like, get a life. Oh, I've been looking for this, actually. This is just packaging. Again, being a millennial. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I had another one of these. Okay, I think this is everything. So this is stuff which I'm gonna give away or sell. And this is stuff which I'm gonna keep for myself. to show you guys this. So this is something which you use to rest your palm on when you're using your mouse. This is really good if you get wrist pain from using your mouse for many many hours. I usually don't get wrist pain but I figured I would try it regardless. I think it's pretty comfortable but I do get a bit confused when I stop using the mouse for example to use the keyboard and then I have to go back to the mouse like I kind of forget that this is there and then I hit it in a weird way. Maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. I need to see it, but I've only used it for a couple of hours so far. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. So right now I'm doing these redrives for work and two of them just went terribly wrong. Now I'm trying to find a way to execute them again, but I need to find the right breaking point so that I filter out the ones which worked. The problem is I didn't pipe the output from the redriving script to a file, so I just have the feedback that was given to me in the UI. Great, I know this run out of battery. <laughs> Also, another team in the US put together the action items for this redrive, so I actually don't have enough visibility and knowledge about all the systems where this redrive is executed on. So I don't know if the redrive is either potent and whether I can redrive already redriven transactions, if that makes sense. So I need to try to get confirmation from the people in the US before running it again. Wish me luck! Turns out the issue with the redrives was caused by deployments. I cleaned up the files, removed the ones that were already processed, which didn't need to be redriven again. I have this store near my building which sells a lot of random decor and apartment things. I was considering going there and buying some decor items for my apartment for autumn. I do really like autumn, it's actually my favorite season. I really like how cozy it is and how the parks look. It gets really beautiful and to me nothing beats 
a crisp sunny autumn day is just the perfect weather i love it so much so yeah i think i'm gonna go look for some pumpkins and for some fall decor <laughs> <laughs> 